Hiya. Well, today I want to talk to you about the Caravan and Camping Club. Membership, whether it's worth it. Depends what you want. For us it has been, but not for the reasons you'd think. Membership starts as of 2017-18 season at £38, which really isn't that bad. But it depends what you want out of a campsite. If you want large sites, if you want sites that have got old top-notch facilities like toilets and showers, then yeah, it's worth it. But we still find the sites expensive, even with membership. We went to the Keswick site last year to, to visit friends and we were going to stay with them. They were already on site. And it was mid-season. But the prices were extortionate, I thought, or we thought. Even though you were a member, it was still silly money per night. Um, so we decided against it. I went and parts of wild. Yes, as I say, shower facilities, toilet facilities are good. Their certified sites are small. They often, well, more or less, don't allow more than five units, which can be camper vans, motorhomes, caravans, so you can get a mixture of, of all on site. But they don't often, or more often than not, don't have facilities, no showers, no toilets. So it depends on what you want. If you've got a shower in your, your camper van, then yeah, they might be for you as well. They're, they're cheaper, but they're still, they can, they can vary in range quite a bit on price. So why do we find membership useful? Basically because of the discounts. And I've got a list here of some of the discounts. We joined last July, I think it was. And within the first month, we'd more than saved our membership money. Um... We bought hiking boots and we bought the collapsible pots and pans, not not uh, not the cheap ones, the, the expensive ones, but we bought the expensive ones because we could actually save a lot of money. Um, so some of the places that you can get discounts are amazing. Um, go Outdoors, Cotswold, Mountain Warehouse, there's some of your outdoor shops, so that's where we save money, as I say, hiking boots and, and the uh, the cooking equipment, whatever. But you can also get cinema discounts, so if you're away and it's not very nice weather and fancy change and want to entertain the kids if you've got kids with you, then yeah, you get cinema discounts as well, just go and flash your card. Um, if you remember, if you want to go to the gym, there are gym discounts as well that you can get. I can't remember the name of the um, the the people they use but yeah you feel like you go to the gym flash your card and, and you should be able to get a discount um ferry discounts quite often you can get ferry discounts with them if you're up in the lake district or i think it's wales go ape you get a discount there if you want to use go ape i think there's one in in the buxton area as well now so so yeah fair few discounts and a fair decent bit of saving on on prices as well as i say we saved a heck of a lot of money but we wouldn't use the sites. They're, they're a little too regimented for us. We still prefer the idea of going to find a small site that's still got a shower, still got a toilet, um, or wild camp, like, is what we want to do anyway. Um, no, we've not got a shower, but we've got wet wipes. And, well, we have got the shower we can use outside if we're desperate. It's entirely up to you. Um, Worth doing your research, worth seeing whether it's worth it for you. But I would say, if you're buying expensive outdoor equipment um, and you want to pay your £5 a year membership to go outdoors and you £38 to the Camping and Caravan Club, you can save some major money. So yeah, worth it in that way. And we will be joining again, I would think, when our membership's up this year. But as far as using the sites, I don't think it's for us. Well... You pay as your money, you take your choice and decide what you want. Anyway, that's the Camping and Caravan Club. The other good thing is, I mean, you do get the site book. You get the site book, which comes once a year with your membership. So that's not bad. That's That's got a, a whole list of sites in it and what facilities there are and maps, whatever. So yeah, you get that. And... The thing I found more entertaining, actually, is a magazine that you get every month. So that, that's worth it for a read, and it, it gives uh, some hints and tips, and it often gives nice places where you can go and visit and stay. So yeah, also worth it for that, I think. It's not a bad magazine. 
I say it comes through your letterbox once a month. And I say we will be joining again. Just not to use the sites. Anyway, as for the van, work's come to a bit of a standstill. But we do have to get the gasket system fitted by the 14th of this month. So the next video should be that getting fitted. We have to have it fitted by then because the insurance needs proof that it's in uh, before we get the discount off them. Which again, insurance has been through the caravan and camping club. So although next year we'll shop around, but we'll tell you more about that when it's time for our insurance. If you have any decent places for insurance that you can recommend, then please do comment below because it's always nice to get other recommendations. And if we get any, then we'll do a video just on different insurance companies and what they have to offer. In the meantime, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It helps boost us and, and show that we're out there. If you don't like it, tell us why. And if you've not subscribed, please do subscribe because we'd like to get to 100 before March. Once we've got to 100 subscribers, we'll do a question and answer video as well for any questions that people have asked in the past or we do keep a list of them. If people ask anything, we do tend to reply at the time if we can, but if we can't, then we do write them down and we will do a question and answer video at some point soon. Oh well, at some point soon, when we get to 100 subscribers, I think we're on 69 at the moment. So. Thanks to all the subscribers, and we'll see you soon with a video on fitting the gasset. Bye.